Okay. All right. So, uh, welcome everyone. I know this time uh, the general knowledge and current affairs portion has been a little moderate to difficult. Uh, while there were certain questions, the topics as um, what the topics were the same as the ones that came in your sample papers. We were expecting a lot of questions on environment and possibly India and Pakistan. Well, that was not there. However, agriculture was there and thankfully we had done presidential elections rather well. So those were the two topics that, were, with that we were very well uh, aware of. Apart from that, sports became something that was important. I mean, we kept talking about it in our sample papers and so hence, um, you know, sports was not really a surprise there. Uh, but however, of course, you know, general knowledge is a subject where things are either right or wrong. There is no reading of a passage and possibly, you know, taking out your own inferences and a possibility of something being right or wrong. It's either right or wrong, which is why, you know, when it turns out to be a little moderate to difficult, it, it becomes very difficult for us to, you know, grapple with that fact. Having said that, I feel this particular section was difficult for every student, no matter where that student is from, no matter how long that student has been preparing for, it has been moderate to difficult for all. So, you know, in your a since it was easy, of course, you know, the cutoff is going to be in a certain way because it was easy for everyone. When we talk about CLAT, when, and for this particular section, in case this section was a little moderate to difficult, of course, the cutoff will be a little lower than expected for this section. In that sense, it is not really a bad thing. Having said that, you know, I've spoken to a couple of students and they're like, Are ma'am, hum logo ne Twitter ki subscription humne rakhi thi, toh hume ye ye cheeze pata thi. Baaki jo humara agricultural sector tha, ya humare presidential elections the, they were very, very, very easy for us and we could do it very well, right? So, I think we should start off with the very first one and meanwhile, Shikan sir will also join us. So, let's, let's Let's start it off. I think sir is right here. So sir, I think you should, um, you can take up uh, the first few questions and then I will go on to the next ones. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so ma'am, like uh, the first question, this one, uh, like absolutely a complete surprise. Okay. So, the answers that what we have here, okay, ma'am. I'll be starting with the answers. So the first question, just just wait, ma'am. Uh, let me open my page. Just wait a sec, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So this question, ma'am, it says like absolutely. Uh, if you're talking about this particular passage, so there are a lot many things which people might, might have seen in the newspaper, but these questions they don't seem that relevant with reference to the examination. So the first question which says whose name has been replaced with a uh, one in the passage above. Okay, ma'am. So recently there was a movie, a Hollywood movie, ma'am, which I actually saw, and that was just by chance. Okay, in that the story was with reference to Alan Turing, ma'am. So yes. the correct option about the R, that's the right answer here. So what we can go with is for thirty first, it has to be option A. Now, ma'am, Gary Kasparov, yeah, he was a chess legend, and in fact, this year many students prepared. In fact, I myself had taken a couple of sessions on FIDE, but sadly. Uh, the question could not come from that. So here we are talking about a supercomputer. Ma'am, this absolutely is static GK. The question says Gary Kasparov, then world chess champion, was defeated in 1997 by a supercomputer in chess tournament. Now, ma'am, it becomes absolutely like this is irrelevant, ma'am. How come a person like so? For some, it might be Gary Kasparov. For some, it might be some other uh, player. This is, uh, for example, Vishwanathan Anand or Karpo. So this question, I would say, is absolutely irrelevant here. Yet, what was the name of the supercomputer? So the name of the supercomputer, which we have figured out, it's option B that says Deep Blue. Deep Blue. 
Yes, also owing the, to the fact that supercomputers were very, very important for this particular year, but uh, relating supercomputers to chess was quite ingenious. Yes, ma'am. Like we yes. had information about Fugaku, we had information about Frontier, we had discussed all these things. In fact, Param Shakti and Param yes. Siddhi, like these things were relevant. But uh, like literally, if you're asking a supercomputer who actually defeated a grandmaster in which year, so this becomes a bit something that we are not able to predict it. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Going on to the next question, ma'am. Yes. The I'm emperors. Sorry. Yes, yes, you can con you can continue. I'm just trying to zoom it a little. Okay, ma'am. So the next question says the emperor's new might concerning computers, mind, and the laws of physics, published in 1989, was written by a British mathematician who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2020. Who was the mathematician? Now, ma'am, we when we are discussing about Nobel prizes. So we have discussed whosoever has won in all the six disciplines this yes. particular year, ma'am. If they are asking who was the Nobel Prize for the year 2020, it becomes absolutely irrelevant again, ma'am. Like for that, then you have to prepare, you have to tell us for how many years you have to prepare that, okay, for these many years, you have to prepare the Nobel Prize winners. So like I checked it, uh, the option, the correct answer for this particular question is option D, that is Roger Penrose. Right. Again, ma'am. This one was very technical question. The next one, what kind of computing model resembles the way in which the biological neurons exchange signals in the human brain? In the human brain. Now, if someone had paid little attention in the science classes or in the biology classes in their class 9, 10, so we all know when we are talking about the brain signals, the one term that we commonly neurons. use is the neural the neuron, the term is neuron. So one thing that you can absolutely relate here is the term neural network. Now, had I been a test taker, I would have definitely used the common sense here. Like yeah. if you don't have an idea about how computing signals are sent, then yes, that would be the best way. Next yes, one. Sir. Correct. I mean, also, if you talk about like biological neurons, since the question itself is talking about biological neurons. So yes, I think, you know, we can put two and two together. Absolutely right, sir. You yes. can absolutely figure it out very easily, ma'am. Yeah. Now, the next question, ma'am, again, what is the full form of lambda, right? Now, lambda, it was quite difficult. People from uh, definitely from uh, science background or who have uh, little reference with the computers, ma'am, who have opted for computers, definitely they would have uh, answered this one very easily. Language model for dialogue application. Option number B, that would be the most appropriate answer here, ma'am. Yes, yes. Also, owing to the fact that if we just read the passage very, very easily, they were talking about language-based uh, models. Yes, so ma'am. So there is no uh, other thing yes. that you can delete it with. Yes, yes. ma'am. Exactly. Yes. Great, great, sir. Hanji. Yes, ma'am. Now, we all know, ma'am, Meta, now Facebook initially, now Everywhere, whether people are opening Instagram, people are opening Facebook, so you will find out powered by Meta. So Meta recently released fully trained large language AI model. This was in the news, ma'am. This was recently in news. So the right. correct answer here is option number B, that is OPT. That right. would be the correct answer here, ma'am. And op uh, question number 37, we have discussed this in our classrooms, ma'am. What is the name of the artificial intelligence enabled legal research assistive tool launched by the Supreme Court of India in April 2021? So this was in news as well, ma'am, and we have discussed SUPACE, option number three, ma'am. That would be the most appropriate answer here. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So the next one is the one, the infamous YouTuber question. Yes, ma'am. Please start with this one, ma'am. Yes. Oh, I have to start with this one. All right. I'm so sorry. I was waiting for you to do that. All right. So let's read the passage. Firstly, they are talking about a YouTuber, Nas Dali, and one of his videos named him as the most generous billionaires, most generous billionaires who wanted to uh, donate all of his wealth to charity. But somehow 10 months later, he lost a lot of money. If you would have been an ardent Twitter follower, you would have seen this, right? Of course, um, this was a question that came out of the 
blue for some of you, but for some of you who were very, very uh, involved with this entire incident because this this was taking place the entire year, right? But chalo, ठीक है. अगर हमें आता था, नहीं आता था, does not really matter. So the person that we are talking about is Mr. Sam. Sam Bankman. Yes, ma'am. Yes. We are talking about Mr. Sam. What I personally feel. What I personally feel, ma'am. ये information उतना ज़्यादा इंडिया में मतलब there was not that much focus. Like India, in newspapers, whatever, I mean, there was just one head, one news, not even a proper headline, ma'am. That's very true, sir. But if you see the trend in the sample paper, I've realized, you know, whatever is trending on social media, especially on Twitter, is something that is really being followed. Maybe, so yes, ma'am. Like this is this was like he was. There was this entire thing of him crying over, you know, losing his money and all of that. So I guess you know because of that they picked this up. Um, from the next time onwards, then so we will also take care of Twitter. Yes. yes. Absolutely, ma'am. What are <laughs> yes. what are the trending topics? <laughs> Right, absolutely right. So Sam Bankman Fried. So hedge fund is something that they are talking about. I would have liked it if they would have asked you the question, the difference between a mutual fund and a hedge fund, but they did not really go there. They just needed to know the name that this was associated with, and because of um, why was this important is because of the fact that this chap lost a lot of money in it, right? Yes, then they are talking about this person who was once named as the world's youngest self-made self female billionaire by Forbes. Magazine and is the founder of the company Theranos. What is the name of this person? Now I clearly remember we spoke about this in class. We may or may not have written this in our notes, but we knew about this person. The answer is Elizabeth Holmes. अरे ये वाला क्वेश्चन तो सबसे इजी क्वेश्चन है कुछ थोड़ा सा बेटर पूछ लेते डिजिटल रुपी के बाद हमने पूरा का पूरा उसका थीसिस किया था इसका राइट सो बट द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया रिसेंटली अनाउंस द लॉन्च ऑफ डिजिटल रुपी अ फॉर्म ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो सिंपल राइट सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी अगर और अगर पता भी नहीं है तो रिजर्व बैंक आई थिंक ऑप्शंस एलिमिनेट हो सकते थे इसमें बहुत इजीली आरबीआई की बात की है तो सेंट्रल बैंक की तो बात होएगी राइट एंड दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिजिटल रुपी सो डिजिटल करेंसी डिजी सुविधा विच वर्चुअल वॉलेट डिजिटल वर्चुअल वॉलेट तो ऐसे ही मैम हम लोग एलिमिनेट कर सकते हैं हां बिल्कुल सही बात एब्सोल्युटली राइट सर राइट सो लेट्स गो अहेड द नेक्स्ट वन हियर इज Uh, which of the following technologies does cryptocurrency rely on? See, all of you must be talking about blockchain. and knowing about blockchain, mm -hmm. but cryptography, cryptography is something जो शायद पता होगा नहीं पता होगा you know maybe जिन्होंने पढ़ा है obviously उन्होंने पढ़ा है इसके बारे में so both A and B should be the right answer over here. I think मैं इसमें एक चीज और भी है ना मैं बड़ा इसलिए भी है कि cryptography जैसे यहाँ पे बात बोली है तो cryptocurrency में हम लोग बोलते हैं you cannot trace the location. basically yes. cryptography is that particular art or science which actually hides the location ya yes. whatever jo bhi usko conditions hoti hai scientific ki bande ka jo sender aur sender ka jo bhi ya origin source hai वो ना hmm. पता चलने पाए उसको क्रिप्टोग्राफी का बहुत ही पसंद है बिल्कुल 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 और ये आई एम श्योर हम लोगों का एटलीस्ट uh, हमारे स्टूडेंट्स का होना चाहिए यस व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओन कॉर्पोरेशन दैट मींस कॉइंस इतना सिंपल क्वेश्चन अभी हम लोग अगर आईआईएफसी के बारे में बात करें तो ये हमने नेशनल बैंक फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड डेवलपमेंट में बात की थी तो दिस इज नॉट रिलेटेड नाबार्ड की तो हो ही नहीं सकती करेक्ट नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट अगेन नो दिस इज दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एंड द क्वेश्चन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट मिंटिंग पॉइंट Right, so security printing and minting, minting word is also mentioned there. Right, yes, so it is very very simple right there. Ha, so founder and former chairman of Satyam Computer Services Limited, it was sentenced to prison and fined for corporate governance. See, I do understand that ये five G technology के कारण two G technology की बात होगी, two G technology के कारण A राजा की बात होगी, और अगर stock market की बात करें तो NSC co-location scams की बात होगी. Yes, ma'am. तो उस जिस वजह से बहुत सारे और जो स्कैम्स थे दे वर इंपोर्टेंट एंड आई क्लियरली रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट सत्यम स्कैम दैट हैपेंड राइट नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट नीरव मोदी नहीं हो सकता ना क्योंकि आज की डेट में तो हम लोगों ने पढ़ा ही नहीं है इसके बारे में केतन पारेख वाज हर्षद मेहता का ही चेला एंड हर्षद मेहता का तो पूरा का पूरा स्कैम हमने वो सीरीज भी देखा है बिग बुल भी देखा है सब देखा है राइट सो हेंस इवन इफ आई डोंट नो द आंसर आई वुड हैव आई वुड गो ऑन फॉर दिस यस सो इट वुड हैव बीन रियली रियली इजी फॉर मी राइट सर शाला टेक अप द नेक्स्ट वन यस मैम प्लीज यस 
ओके सो अब ये वाला हो गया आपका द्रौपदी मुर्मू वाला सो द्रौपदी मुर्मू बहुत इजी है यार ये क्या क्वेश्चन है प्रतिभा पाटिल फर्स्ट फीमेल प्रेजिडेंट प्रेजिडेंट मुर्मू वॉज अर्लियर शी सर्व एज द गवर्नर ऑफ विच स्टेट वी आर ऑल अवेयर ऑफ इट दैट दिस वॉज द स्टेट ऑफ झारखंड हमने इनफैक्ट क्लास में सर ने मैंने बात भी की है कि गवर्नर जो होता है वो आउटसाइडर होता है उसी स्टेट का नहीं होता विच इज वाई झारखंड की वो गवर्नर uh, बनी थी राइट देन द फर्स्ट प्रेजिडेंशियल इलेक्शन वर हेल्ड बाय द इलेक्शन कमीशन इन विच ईयर वेरी वेरी सिंपल लाइक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन केम इन टू इफेक्ट इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन वॉज योर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल्स एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन जिसने इलेक्शन के बारे में बात की नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वाले आरपीए ने कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज की बात की तो ऑब्वियसली वी कॉन्ट पॉसिबली से अभी तो हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नहीं है प्रेजिडेंट का कहां से हम लोग इलेक्शन कर लेंगे राइट right? जैसे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना फटाक से हमारा प्रेजिडेंट थोड़ी ना आएगा मतलब अगर हमें ये भी नहीं पता तो भी हमें पता है कि आंसर क्या है सो so, ये हो गया इसके अंदर अब ये दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी वुड लाइक टू चैलेंज राइट एंड एंड व्हाई वुड वी लाइक टू चैलेंज इट सर भी बोले थोड़ा सा मैम <laughs> यहाँ पे जो मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन मैम जो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ने मार्क किया है बेलवेडियर हाउस मैम दिस वॉज नॉट द हाउस ऑफ द गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया बट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ फोर्ट विलियम्स और गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ बेंगाल मैम बाकी किसी का कोई रेफरेंस यहाँ पे बनी नहीं था रायसीना पैलेस रायसीना डेफिनेटली इज इन रिगार्ड विद डेली और ये दोनों बिल्डिंग्स जो है यहाँ पे जो सेक्रेटेरिएट और राइटर्स बिल्डिंग दी है इसका कोई सिग्निफिकेंस नहीं मोस्ट क्लोजेस्ट वन इज बेलवेडियर हाउस मैम Yeah, correct, correct. I mean, this supposed to be the closest, but it is not for the government. Yes, it's not the right answer. Yes. Yeah, we should ideally challenge that. So, who among the following was a candidate in the elections for the vice president? Sare ke sare ye karke aaye hain. Kyu karke aaye hain? Because we have not read the question. We have not seen the president. 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 And so, hence the answer should be D. Very, very simple. Now, this question is that we have to know every child 110 percent. होना चाहिए और पता होगा भी राइट सीक्रेट बैलेट की भी बात कर ली इनफैक्ट हमने ये भी बात कर ली कि एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ इसके ऊपर अप्लाई ही नहीं होता है है ना सो प्रोपोर्शनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन थ्रू सिंगल ट्रांसफरेबल वोट थ्रू अ सीक्रेट बैलेट वेरी वेरी सिंपल राइट सो अब इफ यू गो ऑन टू द फर्स्ट दलित to hold the office of vice of the president of india in fact there are a lot of controversies to uh, mr narayan also if if we keep that in mind because of the fact that he changed his religion and you know some people believe that you know he's not the first dalit and all of that but of course i mean they will go with this answer but tell me what do you say about this sir ma'am like uh, yeah what whatever you said is the most appropriate uh, explanation ma'am in fact right. on google as well ma'am otherwise yes. like, Yes, it's not. He's not the first. Like many people say, it's Ramnath Kovin. But yes, even the Google mentions, and like we should not consider the caste or the, or the religion thing, the religion change, what was done by him. So we should not consider. I think the most appropriate answer, according to me, is K R Narayanan here. Uh, right, 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 right. But again, there's a controversy to that. But very rightly said by Sir. Sir, if you could take the next passage, please. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> passage on agriculture. yes like we have discussed a couple of things on agriculture for example like the first question which of the following is the largest exported agricultural product from india now ma'am majority of the students they knew that the correct answer is rice but many students have marked sugar as well ma'am i don't know yeah, under what impression because we have discussed like that with reference to sugar it always is cuba okay exported yeah. yes <laughs> and people have to see like majority yeah. crop production like we are number one in this so yeah because we produce the maximum amount but they are asking for export it's so so important to read the question you know even in elit some kids came back and said rajiv kumar nahi hona chahiye tha i said but chief election commissioner to pucha hi nahi hai na they have asked yes. you about the election commissioner yes. so yeah that happens correct right so i'll just i'll just go ahead now ma'am this was was based on uh, data 
that what was the total value of India's agricultural product export? Like how much have we made? So this right. was the volume, uh, like value that was being asked. And right. Uh, the right answer here is option D, 50.21 billion USD. Yeah. It's information bureau. Yes, it's available on PIB, ma'am. Yeah, correct. Next and one, ma'am. Fa uh, father of wheat revolution, ma'am. We have discussed this in our classrooms. Father of green revolution, father of white revolution, mm. father of wheat revolution, ma'am. Dilbak Singh Atwal. Mm. And being an Indian, if you don't know this, then definitely you got to it's work on your mind. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, ma next is India is world's largest producer of which of the following, ma'am? In fact, in one of our PPTs, ma'am, when we are discussing World Dairy Summit, yeah, 23%. Correct. Yes, ma'am, that's the highest milk World Dairy Summit that was conducted in Greater Noida, ma'am. Right. Yes. Yes, sir. Next one, ma'am. Uh, what is India's ranking in the 2022 Global Hunger Index? A sitter here. Hmm. Again, ma'am, 107, just above Afghanistan. Afghanistan is on 109 spot in Asia. We are on 107 spot. So I think they go into extremities, sir. Don't you think? Like yes, ma'am. The best performance and the worst performance. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. <laughs> Extremist, like they are many. Take care. Okay. Uh. Okay, Next. The National Commission on Farmers constituted in December 2004, which recommended C2 plus 50% for calculation of MSP. Ma'am, if yeah. people were listening to, if people were aware with the farmers' protest, every time, every time this idea, who gave the concept? MS Swaminathan. If people yeah. have just heard about what was the reason why the farmers were protesting, they would have been able to answer this question very easily. Right, and also this was you know, one of the wrong options in the sample paper. Yes, if you remember, hai na? about the Nobel laureate, and then they mm -hmm. asked about somebody, but wo MS nahi likha tha, kuch aur Swaminathan lik diya tha, but we kept talking about it. Hanji, yes, sir. Now, the next one, ma'am. A lot, a lot many a times discussed by our mm -hmm. Delhi CM, Arvind Kejriwal ji, mm -hmm. and the way that he has found out. Yeah. Some, USA yeah. campus, ICA, our Indian Council of Agriculture and Research. Yeah, yeah. I, in fact, I mean, of course, you you must have also done this in your class. And I clearly remember I was sitting in Delhi and I was looking at the uh, pollution. So I took a class on YouTube wherein I spoke about the graded response action plan and then how PUSA decomposer can help us and all of that. So I'm sure our students must know this. At least I hope they do. Absolutely, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes, Anji sir, uh, the next one is FIFA. I think you're going to take this up. Yes, yes, ma'am, definitely. <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Like we have discussed this thing on YouTube as well as on like many um, offline classes as well, ma'am. Right. So, this question, ma'am, the first one, <clears throat> the ma'am, can you please uh, load on the slide? Actually, I'm not able to read the entire question. Sorry, just a second. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. What is the name of the armband which has been replaced with one in the passage above, ma'am? Armband, the captains are wearing. Okay, ma'am. So it's one love. There was a lot of controversy. Many countries, especially like the captain of Netherlands, Belgium, they said, no, we won't be wearing. So yeah. initially, like there was a lot of fuss regarding that because mm -hmm. it basically supports, it just mentions a simple idea that yeah. equality for all and there should not be any discrimination. So yes, all sir. the objective was LGBTQ. And we all know that many people were criticizing why Qatar has been chosen because Qatar has actually declared that LGBTQ or you can say homosexuality is illegal. So it was a lot many times in news, ma'am. So if people have just followed the newspapers, I'm sure they would have been able to answer this one. The next yes. one is the name of which community has been replaced, ma'am. Quite obvious, Kurdish Rohingyas, Uyghur, not required LGBTQ. Right, sir. Again, ma'am, many, many migrant laborers, they died during the construction of the stadium. It was constantly in news. Another reason why Qatar was criticized. So right. the system about which they are asking is option C, Kapala. Right. Absolutely. And also like LGBTQ community were, became very, very important in the sense that the conversion therapy question had come. So, yeah, they gave us like a little bit of like a trailer. But uh, yeah, it worked in some questions, didn't work in some questions. Bilkul, ma'am. Bilkul. Hanji, Hanji. Oh, putra to ma'am factor rehta hai, ma'am. Code for arbitration. Next time, ma'am, yaap is sports mein. Ji, ji, ji. So, the first option. Hague, obviously, nahi hai. Bilkul nahi ho sakta. 
So Luzan, Switzerland. Okay, ma'am. Right, sir. Next one is current captain of Indian football men's team discussed many a times, Sunil Chetri. Now, this was a bit surprising, ma'am. I'm not sure. Majority of the students might not have heard. But there was one thing, ma'am. Timothy Beer. Now, his father has been the only African player who has won the Ballon d'Or. The highest prize FIFA gives to a player, okay, in one calendar year. So, he, his father is the only person, only black footballer, African origin, like from Africa, who has actually won this Ballon d'Or, ma'am. So, the country is Liberia here, ma'am. The correct answer would be option number D, Liberia. Yes, sir. And again, a sitter, which of the following is the oldest football tournament in the country, ma'am? It's Durant Cup, 1888. Right, IFA sir. Shield is 1891. All right, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I think we are done with the GK section. So uh, thank you very much, sir. And thank you, everyone else. Um, I guess there were certain shockers. There were certain pleasant surprises. And, and that's all. I mean, that is what is the game of competitive examinations. Absolutely. Right? So, yeah. any, take, any take on cutoff, ma'am? What exactly do you think uh, would be the cutoff? Or what, would, sh what should be the good score in this paper, ma'am? Like if so, you ask my opinion. So yes. I will say anything between 15 to 16, ma'am. Right, the paper was I agree. Quite full of surprises, ma'am. Yes. So if yes. a student is making 15 to 16, I think it would be considered as a good score. Yes, and I definitely. Think this would have an impact on the overall cutoffs as well, ma'am. Yes, yes, definitely. And also the fact that, you know, you have to, the kids have to keep in mind that, you know, sometimes there will always be one section that will be slightly tougher than the rest of the sections. And instead of going and thinking, oh my God, ye kya ho gaya hamare saath, you know, you have to focus on your strengths and you have to make sure that, you know, you make intelligent guesses like how sir and I, we, we analyze this paper and, you know, somewhere down the line, there were certain questions and the answers are right there screaming at us. But, you know, if we get all hassled and anxious, about oh my god ye kya question hai ye kahan se aa gaya hai to hum wo intelligent guesses bhi nahi kar payenge hai na so well that's that sir thank you so much and uh, yes so all the very best to every one of you i i'm guessing and i hope and i know that you have put your best foot forward and you will get exactly what you want and uh, that is all from our side sir anything that you would like to say first ma'am now just wait for your results. You have given you 100%. Okay. Your job is done. Just relax. Yeah. Just enjoy for next six, seven days. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure everybody will be having very good results. Right. Right then. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, everyone else. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Thank you.